door at right there in the front of that booth over there. There's a whole bunch mm. of little toys over there that you can redeem your tickets for. And they start with Sorry tickets, about the intrusion here. And then they go to three tickets, four <laughs> tickets, five tickets, seven tickets, and tens, I think. And the only ones that are going to get tickets are 12 and under. Okay, if you're older than, older than 12 years old, you can still participate in the game, but you will not get tickets, okay? Sorry. I know that's kind of a bummer. So if you guys will come up here and line up, and then uh, we want you to be in some kind of order, everybody will get a chance. No, I am.
dragon, right? The dragon. Has he got a name? Yeah. What's your name? Benjamin. What's the dragon's name? Uh. uh <laughs> fire. Fire. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Benjamin. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go over the store here. You going to the store? Yeah. Good, how are you? Good. I gotta get her standing up. There we go. <laughs> Who's winning? Yeah, we scored all these trees. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't tell him anything per <laughs> We'll break your camera. <laughs> we gotta see who just said that. <laughs> so far, so far she's so good. I'm doing the future pass right now. Future pass. Yes, you have children, many children. Do you know what? You had a daughter-in-law in here, newly married, but in her future I saw six sets of twins. Did you say he was going to have some more children? No, no my father. Twelve times in one family. Get on there. There you go. Okay, pull it up and over. Try to stand it up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think Jack puts his boat in there. Do you want to move the car? There you go. He's coming in. It's too long to put him in. Whoa. So he's using her foot there. This is a practice session, right? On the way. Oh. Oh, my face. Harry is going to talk to us about the Holy Ghost and baptism. Then, we're also going to have a blessing of Kristen at Ron and Carrie's little girl tomorrow morning at Sacramento. So, so anyway, if the... Where's our Erickson family here? Are we first? You do the song for us if you would, please. Now shh. Heavenly Father, are you really there? And you hear and answer every child's prayer. Some say that heaven is far away, but I feel it close around me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I remember now Something that Jesus told disciples long ago. Suffer the children to come to me. Father, in prayer I'm coming now to thee. Your prayer, he loves 
Savior said, let it so be to fulfill all righteousness. And then he suffered him. And he says as he came up out of the water, the Holy Ghost that Larry talked about descended in the form of a dove and landed on the shoulder of the Savior. And this was a manifestation to the people that was there observing like you people are today. And they heard the voice, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And I'm sure that he's well pleased with Ryan today, and I am thankful for holding the priesthood and having the opportunity to baptize the ranch. That's the for a second, Beth. Where you go, let's stand here and take, and take if they want some pictures of the witnesses when we stand here. Can we get on the wall? That's not the dog. Hey, Lair, go deeper. <laughs> go deeper. They love you, hey, Lair. Okay, yeah. We'll have uh, Brother Dallas Erickson give a closing prayer, and that will complete our baptism. Well, family, we would like to welcome you to the 47th annual Bursey Reunion Program. Can you hear me okay? Everywhere I go, they say I'm a little loud. How could I be? 
Eugene Ernest Joseph Marie Burden 47 on the border between Alberta and Montana 47 years ago this month. I want you all to know that don't leave afterwards. All of the kids of these two fine people, our son Kelly has made up a directory and everybody in that side of the family, names and addresses are in this wherever they are in the United States or Canada. So we want to thank him. Now he's not charging for him, but if you want to leave it, leave a donation because he made 80 copies. And so uh, as we start out here tonight, I want to pay tribute to these two great people, our parents. It started, I think Don accounted 189 people here today. Will you give me 200? 190, 200. I have seen some uh, things that there is going to be some more next year. At the auction this afternoon, we want to thank you bidders and you buyers. We made $1,413. And this is the Bursey Family Fund. Oh. Each Christmas, we send $100 to each missionary that's out. And for other things, genealogical work and things like this correspondence, it sends you people your, your uh, invitations and your uh, notices of the things that's going to be done. Okay, I want you to know that Marie will be in charge next year. Glenn the next year, and Vernon Irene will be in charge of our reunion on its 50th anniversary. It's almost as loud as I am. But anyway, uh, the love that's in this family, as we have met Lake Five, Sealy Lake, and uh, Blaine Lake, and other places over the years, I have never known of any serious disagreements, even with the children. Now, there's something wrong with a family like that in the world and society we have today. They want to chop them to pieces, but love can overcome everything. Where do you have past past your bedtime. You guys better shut off this light and get to bed. You're in a lot of trouble. If you, I'm not going to go... Uh, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have you guys up late again. You have school tomorrow. And don't ask you if you can walk the dog after dinner. Did, I mean, didn't I ask you guys to walk the dog after dinner? Didn't I? Huh? And what have you done all evening? Answer me. Hey, don't talk when I'm talking. Good gravy, Who's, who taught you manners? Yeah. <laughs> I saw you and what you guys did all evening, playing out in the rain. What in heaven's name do you think is to do out there? Honestly, you almost think being dry is a crime. And I don't want to see you out by the creek again. Do you hear with all of this rain, we're getting, there's going to be, That's shut up, a lot of uh, water running down there. I don't want you getting swept away. Now go to sleep. Hey, okay, let's not go to school tomorrow. Let's sing a really stupid song and maybe we'll get out of singing tomorrow. Ready? Everybody. It's your Saturday. Send me a stream. Make it the highest that this town's ever seen. Give it six feet of muddy water. You know that song? Watch that bully up my teeter tarter. <laughs> Mr. Sandbag, I think it's me. 
to go canoeing right down the street. Oh, good motion. <laughs> to watch my school away, yeah, 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 that would make my mommy scream, <laughs> Mr. Sandbag, send me, please, please send me, Mr. Sandbag, send me a stream, we jump back in bed, okay, that's it. <laughs> Classic from one of the Cosby shows. We just recruited some new dancers just a few minutes ago. So. Oh, aren't they lucky? <laughs> so if they don't kind of follow. What's your lights? <laughs> Show your lights. Yeah, everybody else. So bear with us, okay? We never did any kind of town, so if you talk, so it's good. Better. We can see the reasons. Put them pants on.
need another one, John? Hey, let's trade. She asked me if I was supposed to explain this. But you already heard that joke before. Eric, are you going to leave? Are you passing? Okay, this is a blast from the past. A bunch of nuts on our family tree. You all remember it, I'm sure. It started out with a man named Gene, he picked it up for his queen, and they hit the road for Kalispell. Like a squirrel. Some folks know him by his original name. It's Wayne. Family. 
families come from way out west. We think they're some of the best. We hope they'll come again next year. There's much that's grown up. Oh, 
the toilet bowl. And then, of course, we have I'm Mexican movie after Mexican food, and it smells so bad the room must be condemned. We have upper class poopy. There's none of us here, but um, the upper class poopy is the kind that doesn't smell. And then we have the surprise poopy. You're not even off the toilet because you're no. You're not even at the toilet because you're sure you're about to fart. But oops, and last but not least is the dangling poopy. This poopy refuses to drop into the toilet even though. You no, you are done pooping again. You just pray that a shake or two will cut it. Here's our comedian in the family at, at first. He should be the next MC when my throat goes back. Out. And um, we would like to present for your listening pleasure the world renowned birthday singer. If not a Bursley 
sinners. A mother I would be. There's a kid, there's a kid, there's there's another mess. Yeah. A mother I would be. Here's a kid, there's a kid, here's another mess. Yeah. Hard. A lark. I would be. Feed me, burp me, change my dirty pants. <laughs> Curtains 
inside your house? Well, they can go up real quick. Of course, you'll have to, someone accidentally oh, oh, knocked over the candles, burned up your curtains, and then the house caught on fire. And then lamps come from your house and went onto your field and went onto your barns, and the horses were trapped inside and they kind of burned burn up. And, I always couldn't find a little piece of meat there and I get up and get it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, why, why do we have candles in our in my house? We've had electricity for at least two years now. Well, maybe it's because of my power outage. When we had to light the candles and... Wait a minute, how's the power outage now? Oh, is this a car? My Ferrari? Yeah, forty thousand dollars. Your brother can of, I thought you would take good care of it. I was driving around with a chick, you know, all white. Well, kind of ran into a power box, cut off the power into the, into the <laughs> house, caught the candles with the thing, you keep it lighted, went on the curtains, went up under that house, Players, they kind of jump from your house to the field, they burn them right up, and went to your barn and they kind of bur burned up, and horses your horses just kind of burned up like sausage or something like that. And you do them sizzling and stuff, and all the elves went down there and found a little piece of horse meat, and killed right over. And, oh, man, didn't really care that much about dogs. <laughs> 